guns. What sort of guns were twice? This is frightening stuff. It is uh, frightening, uh, Neil. Um, we've had a number of incidents, uh, all three over the last couple of months. Uh, one at Clayton South, where over 70 shots were fired into a factory that uh, was uh, used by the Rock Machine um, OMCG group, and um, we found that uh, military-style weapons were used there, AK-47s, uh, high-powered weapons that go through metal, steel metal plates. It's frightening. Uh, the same type of weapons were used on an attack at the Bandidos Clubhouse at uh, Daniel, and uh, once again um, the attack, um, the attacks yesterday um, at uh, Hallam and uh, Dandenong are basically the same style of weapons. So were they we used again concerned. overnight? Um, I, th I think this was a retaliation probably against those attacks because we found that uh, in the previous attacks we believe the Hells Angels or their affiliates are uh, responsible for that, and this uh, attack last night was on the Hells Angel uh, chapter. The environment's changed a lot over the last number of years. They're far more active. Uh, we find their footprints in a whole range of areas, not just drug-related crime. We've got firearms-related crime. We've got them involved in standover tactics with um, building industry, debt collecting, heavy haulage. Um, we're getting a pretty good picture of what they're actually up to. Are they recruiting? They are actively recruiting, and some particular uh, clubs are recruiting from the prisons. How do they do it? Oh, well, they've got people that we've incarcerated, and. Um, they actively um, single out people that they think might be good standover people um, when they're released, and um, so they befriend them and um, encourage them to join. So they're nothing to do with motorbikes or anything. They're just no, just crooks. These are crooks, yes. They, there is an expectation that they follow club rules, and if they have to um, come on hard, they, they support each other. So they've got a very um, solid hierarchy. But are you saying there are seriously members of these motorcycle gangs that are in it just for motorcycles? No, I don't think they're in it for motorcycles. Not at all. What are they? Well, if they're not, it's crooks, about what? status and power, yeah. greed, the whole range of things. It's not really the OMC. The bikes is just a component. So they're saying they'll, they'll, they'll go to the jails and say, "Oh, we need somebody who will cut people's toes off." There's this bloke doing time for that. Let's recruit him. Yeah, they'll recruit other good crooks. Uh, they want to um, um, sort of, uh, you know, bearing in mind it's a hostile environment they're living in, and you know, in terms of com um, competing with other. OMCG groups, other um, organised crime syndicates, and um, so they'll look for people that can um, sort of um, advance their cause. So is it the aim in Victoria to get them out of the state or lock them up? What do you want to do? Um, well, we want to disrupt their activities, their criminal activities. I, I think there's a reality there that you'll probably never um, you know, move these groups. We've got a lot of organised crime groups operating within Victoria. Um, but what we're trying to do is disrupt and um, make it hostile for them. And um, if we um, encounter them involved in illegal activity, we charge them, take them to court and um, present them. But, you know, we do have to have evidence to actually put them before the courts. You know, well, I think you remember a few months ago we set up Task Force Eagle. We're, we're concerned about the infiltration and the association of some of our members with uh, OMCG. So they spread their wings pretty broadly. And um, But, um, yes, if they, if they feel threatened, they will make threats. And... We, we see with some of their standover activities in terms of debt collecting, they leave bullets attached to doors and things like that for those people, you know, um, you know, to, to intimidate them, to let them know that's their calling card. Are the bikey gangs the most significant organised crime that you're dealing with now? Now, look, we've got a lot of other groups. The, the bikies are sort of very um, visible in terms of some of these incidents, but, um, you know, when you look at some of the other the level of drug dealing, the importations, there's a lot of other syndicates that are operating. Um, so, um, but they're into drugs, aren't they? Yeah, they are into drugs, yeah. What, what is their main uh, business? Look, they, they do drug dealing. Um, the standover tactics is particular. The debt collecting is really significant. Um, so there's a whole range of firearms dealing. Um, yeah, so they're involved in anything. They've got a footprint in a lot of um, different areas of crime. But drug dealing would probably be one of the most significant.